Alright, hello everybody, Matamoto back here again, and this time, I'm going to be building a compressor and a mass fabricator, shown right here. Now, you may notice, I already have a Laptron crystal, and mixed metal ingots, and raw carbon mesh in my inventory, and two advanced circuits, which I was working on, and then I decided to start recording, because why not? And, uh, I started recording because I'm finally going to actually build a compressor, and not just, you know, kind of build it and then use it in the construction of something else along with the mass fabricator because the mass fabricator is a pretty big thing and uh, if I did it off recording it would be really hard to explain so I figured I'd do it while I was recording just to make everything a bit simpler which uh, I am going to be setting up another quarry over there in a minute because I've ran out of oil now which kind of concerns me but it actually turns out that I was looking through the recipes on my other computer, and it turns out that there's actually, uh, you can make oil out of soul sand. Uh, it takes 16 soul sand to make, what the, okay, there. It takes 16 oil to make one, 16 soul sand, uh, to make one, uh, cell of oil. Uh, as you can see, oil cell right here. Wow, how did I find that? Anyway. Uh, it's an oil cell. You can obviously make it by putting oil in a cell or like a chain poser, but uh, otherwise there's not really very many ways to make it. But this way is you actually require soul sand through a industrial centrifuge. It actually gets you saltpeter too, which is really, really, really useful. I did not know this recipe. Ex <laughs> Excuse me. Did not realize this uh, recipe existed, but now that I know that it does, it's going to be really, really useful because oh my gosh, I have the hiccups or something weird like that. But there's an oil cell, so pretty much, if I just go to the nether as often as I normally can, I can pretty much just make infinite fuel once I get all of it from down there, but yeah, I just thought like I would, uh, just thought that I would share that little bit of information so that I didn't have to forget about it and then suddenly go like, oh yeah, it turns out you can have infinite oil without having to find any, um, deposits of oil. So... The, the the reason why I got rubber in the first place was so that I didn't only have one batch left of stuff that I could make this with. Alright, here's some of that, here's some of that, and here's some of this. Oh, and by the way, it also turns out that you can make ruby dust just in a number of ways. But the one that I think is most notable is this recipe. You can actually make a piece of ruby... Um, or just a full ruby, uh, it actually turns out to look like that, even though, yeah. But, uh, you can make ruby out of ten redstone in industrial centrifuge, which the industrial centrifuge is by far the most useful, most cheap, uh, machine in all of FTB, in my opinion. Uh, because you can do things like this. This might seem really cheap, but you need ruby, like I was saying before, for a lot of stuff. And, um, pretty much at this point, that's mandatory to even be able to do anything with it and feed the beast. So, I am very, very, very happy that recipe exists. Oh, man, that that recipe just got me. That's pretty much one of the reasons why I'm recording right now. is because that recipe pretty much gave me hope for, uh, the much, 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 much later coming fusion reactor. Because, oh, man, I, I don't even know how much later that's going to come on. Oh, freaking... Like, that is just ridiculously difficult to get. I don't even have any idea when I'm even going to start to getting that. Start to get to getting that, I, I should say. The fusion coils themselves... Alright. Okay. I'm going to look up fusion coil. In, in, in this right here, I'm going to look up fusion reactor coil. And... You need 30 of these, so any average person would think, hmm, these are pretty easy to make, right? And then you view it, and you see you make one of them out of four energy flow circuits, two nichrome heating coils, and a highly advanced machine block, and a iridium, which is that really hard material I was talking about earlier, a uh, neutron reflector, and a superconductor. So, yeah, this is pretty difficult. Um... Uh, this is the easiest part of the fusion reactor. That's all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. That is the easiest part to make out of the entire fusion reactor. You think it's hard now? No? Okay, whatever. Well, um, that's why I'm saying it's a pretty endgame machine. 
I don't think I'm ever going to get to it until, like, the very, very end of this. But the fusion reactor can be used to make these things right here. Right here? Here. Uh, this very useful thing. This helium plasma cell. As you can see, it produces 800... Oh, wait, 8,192 KEU. That's 8,192,000 EU in a plasma generator. And I would say, mm, that seems easy, but I've told you how hard it is to make the fusion reactor already, but, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it if you have the fusion reactor. It's, I mean, I, I said in a previous video that it wasn't worth it at all, but then I did a little bit of math and stuff, and it turns out it is definitely worth it. You can you can have a fusion reactor run on itself after it built after it is built. I don't know why I'm stumbling on my words so much, but uh, you can have a fusion reactor run on itself after it's built, just being fueled off of its own um, generated plasma, off of deuterium and uh, tritium, and you can make a lot more profit off of it than I originally assumed that you could. So. Yeah, definitely gonna look into making that in about five million years, so I'm looking forward to actually being able to make that, because even in in the richest world that I've ever had, I wouldn't even be coming close to being able to make that, but uh, it requires two advanced machine blocks, this mass fabricator, which is what I'm doing right now. All it requires is two machine blocks, obviously two carbon plates, which uh, the actual raw carbon mesh for these is made just with raw carbon fiber, which is made out of coal dust, which you can just simply put in a um, macerator. You just put a piece of coal in there and I'll give you coal dust. This advanced alloy is made out of mixed metal ingots, obviously, which is made out of tin plates, bronze plates, and refined iron plates, and there are a lot of other more advanced recipes for it, which I'll be getting into a lot later, but... Ah, oh, they made me do that. But I'll be getting into those a lot later, because those are really, really useful recipes if I had the technology to get them already. So, there's two advanced machine blocks, and uh, all I need for this is that, and 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 that. And we get the shining beauty. The mass fabricator. Oh boy! This thing is a little bit weird. Now, this can take in any amount of EU. Any amount of EU whatsoever can be filtered into this thing. I think. I do not believe this ever blows up, no matter how much EU you put in it. But, uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 I forgot about this part, I forgot about this part. Oh, uh, 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 oh, he, ah, uh, oh, okay. It takes your energy if you don't send a redstone signal to it. And as you can see, it was getting powered, and it says progress, 2%. That basically means, um, when this is, uh, absorbing EU, it takes up a certain amount of it, and then it spews out this progress thing right here. And there is a slot down here, which, uh, I, I think you can put a battery in also. Yeah, you can put a battery in here. But, uh, you can, one of the more useful things is you can put scrap, or, let me just... Uh, read off the list of things. I'm pretty sure that not even all of them are shown in here, but it produces this thing called UU Matter, which is used for a lot of things, which I'll get into later, which is why, obviously, I wanted this, but this UU Matter, uh, it can just be made off of this, and, uh, when it, when it's, when it's being amplified, it requires, it normally requires, what, what is that number? A one million EU, which is a lot, as you can probably guess, but, um, if you put in something like scrap, it only takes up about a third of the EU. No, 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 definitely not. A lot less than a third. It takes up, I'd say, about a ninth of the EU that it takes up if you, um, you just put it in here. I actually think it's like, yeah, looks like about a ninth. Yeah, something like that. But, um, yeah, it's it's definitely useful if you have something in here. And the more, the more rare the item is you put in it, uh, the more time it amplifies it so basically with this plutonium dust this is the most useful amplifier out of anything plutonium i'm really never plutonium is used in this thing later that's called a nuclear reactor it's basically like a more powerful version of uranium but it, this is what i normally use it for if i get it is in this mass fabricator because it makes an amplifier of two million that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A piece of redstone or nickelite only does 5,000, and that does 2 million. So, yeah, that's that's why I usually normally, I, I usually normally, 
great grammar there. But um, I, I normally, that's why I normally use it for that. So uh, if I ever get any plutonium, which the way you make plutonium, the reason why I have so much of it is uh, there's this one, I believe it's a, yeah, it's an industrial grinder recipe. The reason why I had, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's, um, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Oh, wow, okay. I, I don't know what recipes I, I did, but, um, I, I got, I ended up getting a lot of it, and that's how I discovered that it was so freaking useful in this thing. I don't know what I'm waiting for. What am I waiting for? But yeah, if you turn this thing on, and you put some scrap in it, oh yeah, 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 okay, I know what, I know what I'm waiting for. I know what I'm waiting for. Uh, I was waiting for not being to wait any longer. That made sense. Okay, uh, um, here is the reason why I made these recyclers. Because, as I said before, they have a chance of making something called scrap. And here is it in action. It takes these, and uh, when I come back here from doing something that I plainly saw about a couple seconds ago, but I probably forget... Oh yeah, it was it was the wheat. Okay, I just gotta harvest this wheat. Ah, oh, that got me a lot of seeds. How refreshing is that? But uh, actually, only gave me two. Whatever, same thing. Okay, um, how much is how much steel is done in this thing? That is a lot of steel. Wow. I am. That is a lot of steel. That's gonna be really useful later on. But um, yeah, as you can see, scrap. Uh. You put this in here, and as you can see, it speeds up the process by a lot. So, if you have enough scrap, it is definitely worth it to build this mass fabricator, because um, this is why I'm eventually going to have quarries hook up to a giant recycling unit. Um, probably that's coming through the wall, maybe about right here later, but I'm, ha I'm going to have it all hook up to... Something uh, around that sort of orientation. Because the mass fabricator is really, really unbelievably useful when I get into a lot of the later uh, things. So, yeah, that that's definitely, definitely good. I have the hiccups. What the heck is going on? Why do I have the hiccups? I don't know. I've had the hiccups for like the past 10 million years now, and I really want them to stop. But um, I just got to take all this stuff away from here so that I don't have to. Oh yeah, the cactus destructinator. Definitely got to take that out. Who could live without a cactus destructinator? Not me. The name isn't really patent pending, by the way. That was just a joke. Uh, So, there's that. There's that. Now all I've got to do is take all this stuff. I actually have a lot of these um, whoa, lag. I have a lot of these golden conductive pipes, considering um, like, I, I have, what, like, maybe two stacks of these already, and I I, I don't even know how much I have. I, all I know is that I have a lot. I'm, I'm going to go sleep so that I'm not in the dark this whole time, and then go over here. And I'm going to move this power source. I don't care how much fuel's in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like any. I think these might have actually ran out, so that's a good thing. But, um... I'm going to move I'm gonna move those to the middle of my, um... Uh, little thingy up here, and oh yeah, 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 that's, that's what I was gonna do, I was gonna make Bob start working on the, uh, ceiling, so, for now, I'm actually going to only have him have this much, a little bit more than that, I'm only gonna have him carrying 56 in each one, because I don't want him hitting the wall and getting stuck there forever, because, I mean, obviously that would be a bad thing. So, I'm just going to be working more on this tactic for now. And, uh, does he need any more refueling? Refuel, ref nope. Alright, he is in the right orientation, so... There you go, Bob. You're just such a good little turtle. Uh, I can build the rest of it myself, I'm not that lazy. So, let me see how much these recyclers have got. Let me see. Oh, wow, actually that was not very much at all. But, uh, this will probably get me around, mm, probably around one. But yeah, I'm gonna put a lot more in this generator, because, uh, yeah. But as you can see, it takes EU very rapidly from the MFE, so you need a lot of EU management to do this thing. Uh, yeah. 
bloop. It's it's not it's not it's not worth it until you get advanced solar panels, which obviously you need the MFE to get anyway, or the uh whatever it is the uh, mass fabricator to get it anyway. So I shouldn't really be complaining at all because the mass fabricator is awesome. It's it's at least it's not this thing. Like seriously, seriously, UUM assembler ridiculous ridiculous oh yeah i disabled the recipe so you can't see it well whatever but it is re ridiculous it requires you to have i think it requires you to have iridium before you even have a mass fabricator how how are you supposed to have iridium already before you have a mass fabricator that doesn't even work like greg what is your problem what are you thinking? I have no idea. Like, why would you... Whoops. Why would you build something that is for the sole purpose of getting something easier, but then make it have to have it before you actually have it? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, this guy is working on the ceiling. He's kind of doing a crappy job on it, so I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just cut eventually and uh, move the you know, recording session to that, which, actually, I may do that right now, so, uh, yeah, when I come back, this ceiling will be finished, and my power source will probably be in the middle, so, yep, see you then. Alright, so, I am now officially finished with what I said I was going to do, and, uh, this is why I was keeping the chests by the quarry, obviously, for all of the a uh, couple stone that I needed for this. So I've built this big ceiling part faster than a turtle could ever do. And I've also moved my power for the quarry from over there to on the second story, which this whole second story will eventually be walled in and closed off and stuff. But for now, it's just left like this. So, um... These combustion engines... Obviously, zombie, get out of here. These combustion engines are obviously moving, and apparently I forgot to... Got to power this one, but um, they are powering another quarry that I have over there. I did move the quarry, like I said I was going to, and um, yeah. So that's that's pretty much the whole thing right now. Um, there's not really much else to say about this. See, this is the problem that FTB has for recording and stuff. Is that normally when you start off, it's pretty pretty good pretty, you know, recording happy, but then, then you start to get to all of when you already have everything, and then it stops becoming, I need to record everything or else nobody's going to understand what's going on, because pretty much, um, the only time that I ever need to record now is when I do something that I haven't done before, and there is a lot of repetition in, uh, Feed the Beast, because obviously you need to build a lot of the same things, build a lot of different things, so, um, from now on, this isn't really going to be a let's play anymore. This is just going to be a kind of showcase of the progress in my world. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't still have constant recording sessions. It just probably means that I won't have as many. So, um, yeah, as you can see, this is pretty well. I actually, I, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get electronic fuel source by the time that, um, this fuel runs out because, I mean, I have a lot of fuel. I have definitely a lot of fuel. I have enough fuel to last me for a long, 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 long time. I also have a lot more creosate oil than I used to have, obviously. So uh, I also have a lot more cold coke. Uh, I need to attach this induction smelter to this so that it can do stuff. Let's just attach it right about here. Um, so yeah, this is this is all going pretty well so far. I'm actually very surprised with how well this went. I built this whole thing in about 20 minutes. It's actually pretty fast considering that this is like half of the whole entire platform that it took Bob to build in like 10 episodes. And yeah, that's that's a bit of a while. But um, the reason why I'm not going to be recording as much is because as I said, it was pretty repetitive. But Feed the Beast takes a lot of time to do anything in. And since I split these episodes up into about 15 minute intervals, um... I'm going to say that by the end of this, I'll probably be playing this world for about 100 hours at least. At least. So, yeah, that's, that's, 
6,000 minutes. That's a lot of freaking time that I'm going to sp- be spending on this one world. So um, definitely, definitely not going to be recording as much of this as I usually was before because six, no, what the heck, 6,000 minutes. That's what, like, what's 6,000 divided by 15? Well, I, I'm, I'm just going to say divided by 10 that because that's obviously 600. And I don't want to end up with, like, about 400 episodes of this. So I'm not going to record as much anymore as I used to. So um, I'll probably come back next time once I have another idea as to what I'm going to be doing. Because, well, obviously, um, right now I've got everything all dandy fine. I've got another quarry over there. I have my power source up here. I'm building on this. And uh, probably by the time that you see me next, this will be even more built, maybe even the ceiling be com- uh, completed, the walls for this will be closed off. Because the walls for this are only going to be like three or four blocks high, not like six like the bottom, because I don't need as much space for this. I just need me, myself, and I, and my machines to be able to fit through this part. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing next time. Hopefully, you'll see that video. And, uh actually want to watch it. So, yeah.